Howdy train fans, welcome back to the Chattanooga Southern Railroad. So uh, it's, I guess it's Friday morning, last day of my vacation. Um, I promised you a review on this and I'm gonna do this in live time. You'll see this tidy track, Woodland Scenics, um, uh, locomotive and rolling stock cleaner uh, is still in its wonderful blister packaging. Um, this is put out by Wo Woodland Scenics. I picked it up off of um, Amazon. Uh, somebody was having a real deal on it. So um, it is not like, uh, you know, hermetically sealed here. Um, so thought I'd get uh, started and, and kind of uh, do this and you can see it in live time. Um, part of the reason I bought this um, is because I was reviewing ways to clean locomotives. And um, I know some of you are probably very familiar with the KD uh, version that uh, clips with alligator clips to your track uh, and then uh, has like a metal bristle brush and it cleans the wheels. That can be very tedious. Um, if you've got really nice locomotives like the ones I've got here, uh, the Atlas, the Atherm, that you're paying, you know, 200 or more for, uh, it requires you to invert it um, and hold it or put it in a cradle of some kind, one of those black foam cradles. Um, and you're always at risk of damaging like the antenna and horns and things like that. Um, that was another reason I liked this concept. Uh, I did watch a lot of reviews about this um, and it intrigued me. So uh, I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, before I get, get into this, I uh, wanted to share uh, an acquisition. This is gonna be the official, I don't know if you can see this, this is gonna be the official mug for the layout. So I got a Chattanooga Choo Choo mug thought this was really cool and on the back of it it's actually got a little bit of uh, history about the Chattanooga Choo Choo. I don't know if you can read that let me see if we can get it up there. Um, paid all of seven dollars for this mug so um, quite happy with that. So we're gonna set that off to the side here and uh, get busy. I thought I was gonna need a knife. <laughs> Surprise. I've already got a power pack uh, hooked up to this to power this section uh, if you remember from a previous video this is actually an isolated section in here um, and if you look at um, these two locomotives um, you can see that they don't run one requires a whole lot more power than the other uh, and this is an older one this one I bought used this one was brand new in the box um, and uh, I've got a lot of locomotives, old locomotives down under here. I think you can see some of them. Um, some from way back, the old Atherm Blue Box ones. And I know I'm gonna have to clean those wheels. And so that's another reason I bought this. So let's get into this here, because I'm anxious to see how this works. So according to the reviews I've already seen, this thing has basically two modes to it. So. That's pretty much it. It comes out of the box that, just that quickly. Um, on the top here, you've got some extra cleaning pads. There's both aggressive, which is basically looks like, I don't know if you can see that, looks like Velcro uh, backing. And then you have these white foam pads that have actually an adhesive on the back. Um, <clears throat> you pull this out and you also have a connector, alligator clip, so you can do this two ways. And I'll leave that there so you can see it. So you can see there's some alligator clips that you can hook to your track directly. Um, I'm gonna take this twist tie off so we can use these because I'm gonna run this in both modes just to see how well it works. So let's get a look at, so, you know, it's not too long, but not bad, right? Um, so it, this has got some heft to it. I have to give it some credit. Um, so what you'll see, this has actually got brass rails in it, which uh, surprised me. I expected to see some nickel silver. Um, the brass, um, I'm a little concerned about that. I don't know whether this was older stock or what. Um, this is actually in length. Uh, you can see that exactly 12 inches long. So you can ha handle locomotives up to 12 inches or rolling stock up to 12 inches. Um, and the way it works is uh, you've got cleaning uh strips on the outside here okay uh and it pulls power two ways one is via this jack on the back hopefully you can see this 
uh, phono jack, small micro phono jack, and you could clip it to the track, okay, to get your power. Or if you look on the bottom, you'll see um, a couple metal tabs there, a couple metal tabs here. You can actually set this down on your track like that, and it sits very nicely, snugly there, and it picks track power up that way. So um, I'm going to try this, uh, like I said, both ways. So I'm going to take both of these locomotives off. I know this is a good one. It runs perfectly fine. Brand new, brand new wheels. This one's a used one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down on here. And we're going to try this uh, with power coming up through the, through the rails. Okay. So I'm going to set this. I'm not going to use the more aggressive pads. So I'm going to set this on here just like this. Okay. Now, according to the directions um, on the back, you're basically, um, yeah, apply power. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've got some power going here. I'm going to turn it up. Up, oh, you can see it moving. I don't know if you can hear that with my air handler running, but it is running. So I've got it up to full speed and it's, and it's up against the uh, stops here and I've got it running. And what it says to do next is to change the direction of it. So I'm going to take that down. I'm going to change direction. You'll see it move to the other end. It's got clearance for the couplers. And I'm going to race it up that way. And I can already see some black marks there. So I'm gonna let that run for a minute and um, take a look at this. So what they say is according to the directions, and I'll see if I can bring this up again closer, is you've got two different pads. So you get, in addition to the pads, the white pads that are already loaded on the, on the uh, unit, um, you get an extra set of white pads and you get these, what they call the more aggressive black pads, which literally is the, is for, um, it li literally, it looks like, I don't know if you can see that, but it, it is basically Velcro backing is what it is. It's, it's the hook and loop type of thing. And it, and they say to use it on, um, really aggressive, uh, dirty wheels. So I'm giving that a little bit of a run now. We're going to run it backwards. I'm gonna run it one more time the other direction. And you can already see how quickly, how much better. So I've got this up to full speed and I can already see it's reacting better. Now I'm doing this in DC mode. This is, uh, I've, I haven't gotten this fully charged up to, to DCC yet. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off. And just for giggles, And I don't know if you can, the camera's gonna pick that up, but you can see some black marks here, 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 and not much up here. So the one set of wheels was somewhat dirty there. So, okay. So now let's put it back on here. Let's see if it responds any better or more like the new one than it did before. So we've got yeah, it's a, actually, it's a little bit better. Actually, that's a whole lot better than what it was. Now they're running more concurrently. So just that little bit, although this one does start up a little bit, I think that has to do with the fact that it's new, newer. I bet if I ran that one around the track, um, now, now they're running more um, uniform. So, I mean, That's that's pretty impressive. I, I I'm I, that right there is worth its weight. That tells me that it it does work, even though you're not seeing it on here. Now, what I did want to do is do try it this way as well. So, if you have a source of power, and you can hook this right to your power pack if you wanted to as well. But let's just say for giggles, um, maybe I don't have access. You know, and I just want to do something quick and dirty, right? 
So I'll put the alligator clips there. I'll take this one back off, put it on here like so. And let's see, let's see how that works. Well, actually, I want to take that looking motor off. <laughs> um, we're getting a bite here. Let's see. Am I plugged in? Yes. Mm, interesting. All right, so maybe I'm not getting off. Oh, there we go. Oh, you got it. Oh, I'm grabbing the plastic. Ha <laughs> ha! Helps if you hook it up right. All right, so there we go. You can probably hear it a little bit better there because it's on the homosote, but it's running. So it does work in that mode as well. So we can take that down. We'll change it direction. And look how much faster that thing reacted than the first time. So I'm gonna let that run for a little bit. And I've got it full full juice, so full throttle on my DC power back right now. And to replace these, these like I said, have some sticky backing to them. You just clip, get to get a little pick down in there and peel these up. Um, they do say that you can pull if if you have like some really dirty locomotives and it's really soiling this pad, right? Because it's going to do it near the ends. You can pick peel these up and then turn them around and use the other side of them, which I like that as a cost savings. I really do like the fact that they give you extras here as well. So I'm gonna turn that down. Oh, look how fast that thing responds. And I can see some black showing up even on the rail itself over here. I know you probably can't see that on the camera, but trust me, it's there. Um, I'm pretty impressed with that so far. So I'm gonna take that down. Let me remove the clips here for that source of the power. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it back down on here. And let's see how quickly it reacts. Oh yes, yeah. okay, that is a thousand times better than what it was, a thousand times better. Oh my God, it's running. I, folks, I, I kid you not. That is, I kid you not. That is running so much better than it did earlier. It was literally, this one was dragging this one all over the place. Pushing it all over the place or dragging it. And now it is running. The voltage is getting it up. I'm going to run this one too with it. Let's see. Let's see how bad of a tug of war we get here. I'm going to run it back this way. So there's a little, still a little bit of a tug, but it's nowhere near um, what it was before. It's doing a little bit of pushing, right? I'll probably go into this um, when I put a, a decoder into it. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that is an improvement. It's not perfect, but it is an improvement. And I just derailed it. <laughs> probably, probably from pushing it. So, I guess, you know, my, my results uh, or my, uh, my real time, uh, feedback on this is just seeing the improvement on that locomotive. I can imagine what it's going to be on my older locomotives. Uh, I'll try that too, um, as well. And actually, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to find a really old one here real quick. Um, this is pulling one out of the archives here. This is, is this a powered B unit? No, that's not a powered unit. Ugh. Sorry, I wasn't planning on doing this. This is a real archaic. So this is a Southern Railway custom painted F unit. Really old school. So we're going to pull these off. I got these, God, when I was back in college. Um, so we'll see how well this runs, because I haven't run this in, God, I don't know how long. I'm going to 
let's see what we got here. Not too bad. Doesn't sound good. All right. So let's do let's do a little cleaning on it and see if it improves it at all. There we go. Sounds horrible. All right, we're gonna take that down. We're gonna run it back the other way. Oh wow, actually I can see some burnishing on the, I'll show that to you in a minute. But you hear you hear it get a little bit of improvement there. All right, so we're going to take it off. Let me set it back on here. And hopefully, oops. Yeah, actually, it, you, I, I don't know if you saw the difference in those two, but it's definitely responding better. Uh, it doesn't sound good. I have to figure out what this is, but let me show you. I don't know if you can see this or not, see so if we can get the light to hit it just right, but you can kind of see where the little burnishings on the brass, where the uh, wheels were spinning. There, I'll kind of tilt it. You'll see them, they'll show up as little shinies on there. Well, I, I have to say, um, for the 20, I guess it was $29. Uh, with free shipping from Amazon. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, I'm going to use it, continue to use it. Um, even with a little bit of improvement I've seen in this and this, other than the noise itself, um, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, I, I, I think it's uh, a good addition. Uh, I like the versatility of being able to just set it on the track and get power directly. Um, don't know how that's going to work on DCC. It should, uh, the, the directions, um, don't say this about DCC cause this was, uh, not specifically meant for that. But if you choose to use the power this way, okay. Um, on the track, uh, one thing I did, uh, learn through some of the other videos and reading about this tool is that you do need to acquire the address of the locomotive decoder, okay? If you plug it in and pull power um, this way, where you're plugging into the rails, I think you have to do that as well. Um, I don't know that for sure, uh, but um, either way, I would think if you did it this way, you just pull, you know, if you were plugging this into your power pack directly, um, or another power, you know, like a pure DC power source, uh, it should run automatically, um, uh, on the DC mode. So anyway, so I'm going to give that one a thumbs up for me. Um, hope this was helpful to you. If you were on the fence about buying one, um, I've got a, <laughs> I think I've counted 75 or 80 locomotives total in my fleet. Um, uh, including some steam engines. Some of them are not going to fail in this. So you are limited uh, to this. I don't see any ability to modularize this. Like these ends are on here. Uh, you might be able to get two of these and link them together uh, for longer, you know, if, if you've got a big boy or something like that. But um, yeah, I give this one, I give this one a thumbs up. It's, it's hefty. It has the versatility of being on track or off track. Um, you know, work through DCC, um, according to what I've read. And it comes with replacement pads for the whites, which are reversible, which is great. And then the more aggressive pads, if you've got some really, really dirty wheels. So I'm going to give that a thumbs up. And with that, I will, um, see you all down the tracks later.